I can say I'm really excited uh, to have a strong progressive uh, as mayor of Toronto. Uh, and I know she'll be a, a real partner on a lot of things that we agree on, uh, whether it's uh, standing up uh, for minorities and, and fundamental freedoms, uh, whether it's women's rights or 2SLGBTQI plus rights, uh, whether it's uh, moving forward on investing massively in housing, in accelerating uh, the processes so that uh, we can solve the very real challenges so many people in the GTA and indeed uh, around the country are uh, facing on housing. The federal government has some tools that we're deploying, but it is best for us to work in partnership with municipalities and uh, the provinces to deliver on housing. And I know that's an area that Premier Ford has talked about uh, doing more in and certainly in my uh, congratulatory congratulatory call uh, to uh, Mayor Chow last night. Um, I was very, very much emphasizing the work we can do on housing, but also on transit, on mental health, on uh, so many things that matter very much to the people of Toronto. Um, there's lots to do. There'll be lots of uh, robust conversations across orders of government, but um, having uh, a strong progressive partner uh, for uh, Canada's greatest uh, and bi or biggest city, anyway, I'm still a Montrealer, Canada's biggest city, uh, is a good thing. Um, and we know that Toronto is facing upwards of a billion dollar shortfall. Is the federal government prepared to extend any funding to the city? And I just wanted to also ask you about Ontario Place. It is a point of division between the city and the province. Are you prepared to step in or do you have a view on the province's redevelopment plans? I have uh, no comment on Ontario Place, but I, I will say that over the past number of years, the federal government has stepped up significantly in investing in areas that have made a real difference in Canadians' lives. Uh, whether it's on child care, which has traditionally been seen as a uh, provincial area of jurisdiction, the federal government has and will continue to step up to be a real partner because it is a question of economic growth and opportunity right across the country. During the pandemic, the federal government stepped up to such an extraordinary degree that eight out of every $10 that supported people during the pandemic came from the federal government. What that means uh, is we have been there uh, over the past years to make sure that our economy has been growing and flourishing uh, the way it needed to. Uh, the provinces uh, need to step up now to support the cities that are their area of jurisdiction. We will continue to be there as uh, a federal government, as a partner, but we will not be able to, uh, with the importance of fiscal responsibility, um, you know, be able to be there in replacing the province in areas where they have the need and they have the means to continue to invest uh, significantly in their cities. And certainly that's a conversation I had with, uh, uh, with uh, Olivia last night and we'll continue to work on.